Sometimes you receive a photo that's specific to a place, for instance, a local golf club, residence association, or similar. The customer may want to use it in a logo or other design. Spiral fill is a decorative stitch type that can be used to create movement and dimension in embroidery design. Because of its open structure, spiral fill can be layered to add texture and greater depth. In this video, we break down a beautiful bluebird design to see how straightforward it really is. Import the image and prepare the palette. First, we import the image for use as a digitizing backdrop. Size it to the approximate dimensions of the intended stitch out. Next, set up the palette with the thread colors you want to use in the embroidered design. Here we use a palette of seven Madeira Classic 40 threads. Dark blue for the outer wing and tail, aqua for the inner wing and tail, light blue for the top wing and tail, blues, orange and yellow for the body, brown, black and yellow for the details. Create the bluebird wing. We start by digitizing the lower wing with spiral fill in combination with the complex fill input method. Digitize a pattern of control points to outline the flared feathering. This is key to creating a sense of rhythm and movement. Because we're going to be layering the wing surface, we double the spacing to 4 millimeters. Note how we move the central node around to locate the epicenter of the feathering. Now, choosing a lighter shade of blue, we add a second layer of spiral fill to describe the inner wing. Again, open up the stitching with increased spacing. Now we add a third layer of spiral fill in a lighter shade. Apply the same technique to the top wing and tail. Create the bluebird body. Again using spiral fill, we create the bird's head and chest using an orange thread. Again use the node to locate the epicenter of the shape. Now choosing a blue thread, describe the lower half of the bird's body. Again digitize a pattern of control points for the flared feathering. We add a second layer to complete the body and increase the sense of volume. Add neck ruffles and details. We now try another stitch effect to create a sense of the bird's neck ruffles in a lighter shade. Using contour stitch in combination with column A, create layers of contoured stitching. Finally, add details of turning satin to create the bird's legs, eyes and beak. And there we have it, a stunning facsimile of a bluebird in flight, which can be used for logo designs, garments, cushions or any other application you can think of.